Good morning. Here's another spot that I'd like to do to talk to you about some of the dimensions of uh, the celebration of the Mass that we, uh, that we use as a part of this uh, series of presentations on the year of the Eucharist in the parish. These are some of the vestments that we wear, that I would wear at least as a priest, okay? And I brought out what I might call my Sunday best to show you. The undergarment that priests wear is called an alb. It's a white garment, and it comes from a Latin word that means white. Now, this particular alb doesn't require what's called a cincture. Basically, it's a belt, a cinchura, okay? I don't wear one right now, thanks to the fact that I'm recovering from hernia surgery. You know, we just leave that as it is. But the white vestment is an underlying vestment that is worn underneath vestments. Now, these other vestments are called a stole, which comes from a word that means a scarf, and a chasuble, which actually means like a little house. It's almost like a poncho, actually. But it's, it's fancy dress from the 4th century in Rome, and that's why we wear it. We look very, very preservative. Now, it's interesting to note that um, it's the stole, which is actually the, the vestment that indicates that a priest is a priest functioning. Okay? So, I would wear a stole, for example, under normal circumstances, hearing confessions, or doing a celebration of the anointing of the sick, or etc. Okay? The chasuble, strictly speaking, is a vestment that is only worn during the celebration of Mass. So, the stole says that I'm a priest functioning. The chasuble says that I'm a priest functioning at Mass. Now, as far as the colors are concerned, I've got this one leading off because we're in Lent right now, as I'm giving this presentation, and Lent, the color is purple. It is a, a, a color of purple that indicates a combination of repentance and also of sorrow. Okay, it's a darker color. So it is saved for um, Lent, and in a slightly larger or lighter color, I should say, it also is celebrated, or is the color that is used to celebrate the Eucharist during Advent. Okay, so purple represents, I feel like, penance, but also preparation. Penance, but also preparation. So what we pre prepare ourselves for is the gold vestments, gold or white, and these symbolize joy, happiness, life, and all that other kind of thing. So these beautiful colors here are, are reserved for the Christmas season and for the Easter season. Okay, so that's, that's where these vestments will be worn. Now, very specially, this red vestment here is worn on the Feast of Pentecost because the red color symbolizes two things, blood or the fire of the Holy Spirit. We wear this vestment for Pentecost, the fire of the Holy Spirit. I have other vestments that I wear during the week that are red sometimes if I'm celebrating a memorial of a martyr, someone who shed his or her blood for Jesus Christ. So the color represents blood as well as the fire of the Spirit. Now, the color that I wear more than any other color in the course of the celebration of the calendar of the church year is green. Green is for what we call ordinary time. And why would green be a color for ordinary time? Well, in part, it has to do with the fact that green is symbolic of new growth, springtime, fertility, life, and as St. Paul reminds us in the uh, eighth chapter of the letter to the Romans, we are saved in hope. Green is a color of hope also because it's the hope of new birth. It's the hope of new life, of fertility, etc., etc. So this becomes the color that is what we call ordinary time, or the entire ordinary time of the church year. The colors of uh, purple and gold, and red for that matter, are what would be called privileged times, special liturgical times. The rest of the year, green. But we always want to remember that there is no such thing as ordinary time. All time in Jesus Christ is special, especially when you consider what it means here for us to have hope in the promise of life. So these are the vestments that we use, and I'll see you next time.